Welcome to the European Youth Media Days 2016 in Strasbourg. My name is Olivia Drost. And my name is Maciej Deja. We are here together with hundreds of young media makers to experience three days of media workshops, political discussions, media production and various insights into international media environment. We are reporting from the European Youth Event, which brings together in Strasbourg thousands of motivated and hardworking youngsters. At present, Europe finds itself at a crucial crossroads, facing bigger challenges than ever, such as the refugee crisis, an increasing nationalism, a long-lasting economic crisis, a possible exit of the UK from the EU, and the terrorism threats. We're different. We come from all over Europe, from different cultures, from different religions, from different youth organizations, maybe not from youth organization at all. We're coming from different political backgrounds. But in these times, when there's so many people, politicians and movements that want us to divide, want us to feel fear, want us to stand divided against each other, we come here and at the eye, we stand together. That is the essence of why we are here these two days. We want to give an impulse to a lot of people that they spin off, that they are lighthouses. Um, these 7,000 young people, after tomorrow, they are lighthouses in their country talking about Europe. And the other one is um, the Europeans together um, in terms of nationality. And um, I mean, we are at, somehow at a crossroads. The continuing relationship refugees like Abdahahe have with possessing a passport or not is something players of the video game Papers, Please can experience by playing the role of an immigration inspector at the border checkpoint and decide who is to be let in. In real life, there is still no legal way for refugees to enter Europe. Legal immigration opportunities are necessary, says Austrian EP Vice President Ulrike Lunacek at the European Youth Event. Legal immigration opportunities have to happen if we want to save lives and don't want to create chaotic circumstances for refugees. The people who are dealing with all the communication of the EU are people who do not, not, do not know necessarily how the youth likes to communicate. What kind of channels do they use? Obviously they do, they do research about it, they are really interested to know about it, but I think still the message doesn't reach it, the people, it doesn't reach the young people. Um, so in this, I think this should be completely rethought in a way that young people would feel more interested to, to engage. Some estimates say three to four million British jobs could be lost and British people could lose the right to freely travel to other European countries. But does that weigh up to the benefit of full independence from European rules? That's what young Brits came to discuss during the European Youth Event in Strasbourg. I kind of think of it as if Britain is in a relationship with the European Union. It'd be like breaking up with the best boyfriend they'd ever have, basically. And it's kind of like um, where, you, where you're trying to pretend that, that you haven't been influenced by the relationship and that you're still the same person that you were before. Whereas I think we do have a, a real European identity. And I think if we left the, the EU, then we'd lose some of that identity. I'm standing right now in one of the highest political and decision-making bodies of the European Union, European Parliament. Right now, behind this door, there is debate going on regarding uh, economic and political sanctions imposed by uh, European Union on uh, Russia. So let's go inside and take a look what's going on. about Council of Europe, where Russia is actually a member. We could get more opportunities to communicate with Russia. We should try the diplomatic trade system between EU and Russia. Youth activism extends beyond the walls of the European Parliament. Here, at the Job Festival, participants are able to express themselves in different and artistic ways. Dozens of messages represent the wishes and desires of young Europeans for the future. But sometimes a picture is worth more than a thousand words. Activists see these creative workshops as an opportunity to raise awareness for the causes they care about.
that was all from us. Thank you for watching the presentation of the TV News Workshop of the European Youth Media Days 2016. Till next time.